Christopher Ray is the new FBI director. The Senate says yes. In fact, overwhelmingly, he was voted out unanimously out of the committee and uh, no real opposition at all. It's a good, good example of where Republicans and Democrats can come together and move forward at least on this particular issue. President Trump, his son's statement, Russian statement, he's kind of like all over the page. Will he survive this too, do you think? It's, it's really interesting it's because it, it just seems to be never ending. We don't know what's coming up tomorrow, but I'll guarantee you there will be something. Uh, that w whether it's uh, the, the Russia investigation or there's some other shoe that's going to drop, you just kind of wonder how much longer can it go on to where the, the people who are the biggest supporters of his continue to stay with him and not begin that peel back process. I don't know how you feel about this, but I give Pine Richland credit for stepping up. Let's talk about the transgender situation. Explain to the audience. What was happening here is that there was a lawsuit that was in play, and then they settled it, and now as long as the young person is firmly established and committed to their gender identity, then they're going to be able to go into the restroom of their particular choice. That was what it ultimately came down. And when you look at this situation, it just seems to make the most sense to do it the way that it's being hammered at this point. Trying to create a controversy at that level in high school, it doesn't serve anybody any way. I think I gave you more than to do in the next half hour of your show, but what else do you have planned over the next half hour? Well, Bill Green's coming out with oh, us, KDK Radio Political Analyst. We'll talk about what's happening with Russia and uh, Trump Jr. And, and that document. And we'll also talk a bit about the lawsuit that's been filed against Fox News and did the administration, somebody at the White House, actually collaborate with a fundraiser at the Republican Party and Fox News in order to put out what they knew to be a false story. I think I saw Scaramucci at a convenience store today. I'm not sure, though. But I think he was there like ordering a cup of coffee, so maybe he's around town. And it's some way to go on. You never know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Mangino, the KDK Afternoon News. Jeff Hathorne joins me in just a moment to talk sports. He'll be with him at 45 past the hour.